All right, ladies, so here we go. The infamous Outre Nisha Yaki Lace Front, available at sisterwigs.com. I am so excited to do this wig because I've been waiting for it and I have seen such beautiful pictures on the web. So I had to do this one. The color I have is the DR2730 and she does have combs, an L-shaped part and an adjustable strap in the back. And as you can see here, there is the plastic lace or just a little bit rough lace. But however, the first thing I'm going to use is my concealer palette. And I'm going to place some of that concealer right on that part. Now let me tell you guys about this part. There was no tweezing needed at all to this actual unit. It came straight out the package, perfectly created perfectly well made. This is a long unit, very full, the density is very full, and the texture is so realistic and natural. So let's go ahead and place this wig on my head. First things first, I'm going to go ahead and situate it and place the combs where they need to be. The one good thing about this is the combs are actually situated in the right spots, which makes this very, very easy to place. Now I'm going to go ahead and brush this unit. She just lays so well. The curls came out perfectly straight out the package. So there really isn't a lot of work that you need to do with this particular unit. If you love hair that's thick, kinky, straight, African-American texture, then I would highly suggest Nisha. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my comb and part my leave out, which was just very, very minimal. I didn't leave a lot of my hair out in the front area because I want it just to have a natural look. But just to thicken my hairline, my edges, because they are a little thin, I will be using the Topic Hair Building Fibers, which is super easy. This is great. Even if your edges are not thin and you just want your wig to blend seamlessly, then I would highly suggest checking this product out. You can pick this up at either Sally's Beauty Supply, or also you can go online to Target.com, or you can check out Topic itself. The color that I have in the Topic Building Fibers is dark brown, but there is an array of colors. This does not need any type of setting spray. You can just go ahead and place it on in the last day. So the next concealer I'm going to be using is the e.l.f. Cover Up Stick in the color medium. The reason I'm using another concealer is because this one is basically a perfect match to my scalp. And I'm going to place it onto my hairline and scalp along with that. I'm also going to be placing it here onto the wig. I did use the first concealer just to lighten the lace um, and now I'm going to go ahead and place this over so that way it blends just perfectly. The next product I'm going to be using for my edges is the Even New York Extra Firm Hold Hair Edge Tamer which you can get from sisterwigs.com as well. I love this hair glaze. It's amazing. It really does slick your edges down and it holds for the entire day. When it says it's extra firm hold, it really, really is extra firm hold. Nisha is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I cannot say enough about this unit. She's just absolutely gorgeous. I was super excited when I got this and just to see how it looked. As you can see, the part is just perfect. That cover-up stick is just wonderful. I've had it for many years and never decided to use it until today for this video and it worked out perfectly. Now I did spray some of my favorite hairspray on it which is the Aussie Instant Freeze hairspray in the pump bottle. But I do like the aerosol one much better. So let's take a look at this finished look. All right ladies, so let me just give it to you like this. Straight out the box, Nisha is like all of the way bomb. Like on some realness, really, really realness. This wig is like gorgeous, like simply gorgeous. Now I'm going to tell you guys this. I was never really a huge fan of Outre, never really, really was back when I first started YouTube on my prior channel. Their wigs were a little bit thin. They really didn't have too much style. Their caps were small. But this one right here, I think they really like outdid themselves with Nisha. This is like the infamous, most popular unit right about now. It sells out so quick. The color is like by far so appealing and so pretty. Now, normally I won't do certain colors when it comes to a synthetic lace front. But this one here does not even resemble synthetic hair one bit. This looks like some really beautiful African-American 
relaxed hair texture. The yakky texture in this lace front is like amazing. Not to mention the density, the fullness, the creation, the ombre effect, the realness all together in this unit is like by far amazing. So in case you're wondering about the color that I have actually on, this is the DR2730, which I like it a whole lot because simply the roots are dark. The roots are dark and they're not jet black, but they gradually fade into like this beautiful honey color brown, which is like beautiful, like amazing. The hair texture is like amazing. There really isn't much that you need to do to this except for put some concealer on. So you don't see where it starts or finishes at once my hair is connected. And of course, my topic, hair filler fibers, hair building fibers, always helps me like just flawless seamless blending i use this because my edges are a little bit thinner and as you can see the wig is super duper thick but so this really helps so even if you don't have thin edges but you need to blend i would highly suggest this product sally's beauty or target.com also carries it so let's get back into this this lace front like i said is beautiful she's probably like 24 26 inches the color is so gorgeous there are so many different arrays of colors to this unit, but I'm so impressed with Outre, like by far, very, very impressed. Um, Sister Wig has this unit available amongst other colors. You have to make sure that you get it super fast because it is selling out quick, but they will be replenishing their stock. This is like the most popular unit right now. But Nisha, yes, ladies, yes. She is by far gorgeous, like, oh, she's, she's gorgeous, and I love her. And I don't even want to take her off. But I love the way the curls come straight out the pack. You don't have to do anything. They just fall naturally and they lay naturally so they're perfect. But the part is the one thing that has really got me going. There was no tweezing needed. It seemed like they knew exactly how much of width they needed for the part. It is an L-shaped part. The combs, of course, are in the right places. The cap for me was a tiny bit too big, so I do have them so close together on the very closest hooks in the middle. Um, Outre outdid themselves, so I do give them that. This is a really, really great wig. It's super affordable, and if you're going for that yakky texture, you don't have to spend a lot. You can check out sisterwigs.com. I'll post all the information for Nisha below. And on that note, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of Nisha. And as always, stay diva and divalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and thumbs this video up, and I'll see you girls in my next video.